Yes, I've got a, a couple of questions for you. One is rather predictable. You say that farmers will be delivering a public good if they reduce emissions from their farms. These are usually defined as carbon dioxide and methane. Well, let's just look at methane. If you want to reduce emissions of methane from farms, the only way you can do that is to reduce the number of ruminants across the European Union, which is effectively quotering livestock numbers. And so, as far as I can see, the only way a farmer can qualify for delivering a public good is to reduce the number of ruminants he has on his farm. That is the only logical way I can see your argument. The other proposal you put forward to deliver a public good is to make sure organic farmers remain organic farmers. Now, this sector should be driven by consumers and customers. It's the people walking into a shop saying, I want organic produce. That should dictate the acres or hectares, if you like, of organic produce. Now, if you say X hectare has got to be organic, that will mean a surplus of organic produce arrives on the market and all that can happen then is for the price to collapse. So those people who have been in that sector and have established markets and prices will suddenly find themselves completely undercut. And I don't think you'll be doing any favour to the organic sector in trying to maintain the amount of land that's farmed like that. Thank you. I'd like to give the floor to our rapporteur. So I'd like to take the floor. Corrado? Well, I will um, refer to three points, and the other points will be dealt with by, by David. Um, the first concerns the methane emissions, and I think uh, I welcome the question which was put, uh, because the extent of the methane problem uh, as a byproduct of livestock has not really been taken into account sufficiently in the climate change discussions, which have focused more, in a way, on CO2 than, than on methane. Uh, and I think that here, uh, before the reform discussions are concluded, there may not be much on that. It's a complicated problem. But I wonder whether the Parliament could not uh, encourage the Commission to look into this, uh, starting from now, uh, which is a very complex problem. Um, so far, we have focused, uh, for instance, on farmers, um, on, on, on the question of biofuel, giving additional revenues to farmers, but without clear environmental positive environmental consequences. But tomorrow, we should perhaps focus more on incentives to farmers uh, to implement an integrated animal husbandry policy, which would not only enhance farmers and local industry income, but also deal efficiently with waste products and reduce emissions and produce energy and heat for local use and for the grid. And I think this is a very complicated, uh, complex policy because one would have to deal with the right financial incentives, the, the right uh, 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 the tarification which would be uh, uh, applied for energy and other things, market support measures such as green, certifi uh, green certificate, uh, certificates uh, and other regulatory elements which are not forcefully the cup but are other elements uh, which would help to solve the problem. Uh, the second point is on organic. I think it's very right to say that there's been a collapse on organic production in some places like for instance in Germany. I remember Kunas, the Minister of Agriculture at the time, saying to everybody that organic production in Germany should reach 20%. This was irresponsible. If one announces to uh, uh, a policy of the government, to industry, uh, to, to, to producers, uh, that there would be, one would has a target of 20%, there will be more people producing organic products, whereas the market is not there. And it's extremely dangerous to do that because the market at the end uh, is, is the key to the producer. If the market disappears or is not sufficient, uh, doesn't uh, develop sufficiently, uh, the producers will go down the drain and this will be a discouragement uh, uh, for uh, organic production, which we should rather favor. So I think it's a question of policy here as to what one does. Uh, 